you very much. And our last speaker in this uh, panel, uh, the Executive Director of uh, Director Inter Internet and Digital Eco uh, Ecosystem Alliance. Sorry, the floor is yours. Guess I won't have to worry about putting the microphones down. Off to me, um, Madam Chair, Excellencies, and ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Um, we have yet to feed, clothe, shelter, educate, or provide access to adequate sanitation and basic medical care for the whole human family. We are not going to close the digital divide simply because we want to. We will have to do it on purpose, and we will have to do it collectively. In 2010, according to ITU statistics, an average of more than 771,000 people went online for the first time every day. A fabulous number. Unfortunately, that was the peak of that number. The number in 2014 is expected to be about 580,000. The trend line at best is wobbly. Despite average annual investment in telecommunications over the same period, according to the World Bank, of $288 billion annually, we must square, we squarely face the reality that we have already connected the wealthiest and the most commercially profitable users. From here on in, it will be increasingly difficult and expensive. We cannot afford to project out into the future using the numbers of the past as if we will connect up the last half because we connected up the first. That would be as much a fantasy as assuming that we will provide medical care for those who do not yet have it, simply because some of us have it now. This year is the year, ladies and gentlemen, where we can realize the promise of an historic accident of history with which WISIS was gifted, being born in the same year as the MDGs. The decennial review of each is happening this year. 10 years ago, we didn't ensure that the WISIS goals and action lines were linked effectively to support meeting the, FD, the SDGs, MDGs, pardon me, either at the political level and certainly not at the practical. 2015 can and must be different. We cannot allow the greatest communications tools invented in all history to remain even slightly disconnected from humanity's noblest cause, a joined up effort to ensure that every member of our species is able to live a life of dignity and opportunity, as that's what the SDGs represent. Madam Chair, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, is there any more noble cause than for technology to help realize that vision? Thank you for listening. <laughs> 